All right, check this out. In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to create crops and bleeds using Illustrator. It is super easy to do when you know how. Firstly, you wanna begin by creating your artwork properly. This here is your stage. And you wanna make sure that your graphic goes beyond it to work. Like this, and I'm gonna draw a simple box around. Notice that my art goes beyond the stage. That's exactly how it's supposed to look like. You don't want to create your artwork like this. If you did it this way, it's not going to work. So take that art and enlarge it past the stage edge like this. Once you've completed your graphic and are ready to export, go to File, Save As, down below here, change the file format to PDF. Here, I'm going to name it Crops and Bleeds. I'm going to say Save. Over here in this window, go to Crops and Bleeds. I'm going to click off Trim Marks. Those are your crop marks. Under Bleeds, click off Use Document Bleed Settings. Make sure your chain is clicked on. And just pick one of these, and I'm gonna just bring this up to a quarter of an inch. You can go all the way up higher to half an inch, but usually a quarter of an inch is good enough. Hit Save PDF, and there you have it. I've got a PDF with crops and bleeds. Pretty simple, right? All right, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit that damn like button if you found this video useful. Or if you have any questions, leave a comment. Until next time, guys, I'm out.